Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome to my latest main Let's Play series. Would you like to play a strategy RPG with incredibly deep gameplay mechanics? Was Illusion of Gaia too serious for you? Are you prepared for more level grinding than all my previous LPs combined? Then come, and let's play Diz Gaia! Afternoon of Darkness. For this LP, I will be playing the PSP version of the game. Uh, there's also the PS2 version of the game, uh, both of which are downloadable on the PlayStation Network. Uh, there's also the DS version, which isn't downloadable, but uh, this LP will apply to all three versions. Uh, there's some bonus content in this version um, that I will go over that's not in the PS2 version. Um, so, there's that. Uh, first thing I want to do, I want to turn down the background music a little bit. I think it's just a little too loud by default, but that's just my personal preference. Uh, just so you know, I will be going through all, well, most of the endings of the game. There's only, I think the item, item god what is the only one that I'm probably going to skip there. Um, I'm not going to be doing Etna mode in this LP, although I, I might consider it for, uh, like a side LP or something, but that would be totally separate from this. So, uh, I'm just going to be sticking to the main game and all the side quests and post-game content here. So, let's get started then. Oh yeah, I did three test runs for this LP, so, uh, well, I think I'm prepared. King Kridjevskoy, the mighty ruler of the Netherworld. His long reign came to an abrupt end as the news of his death spread throughout the Dark Land. Well, at least his name is easier to spell than Kridjevskoy. Ambitious demons rose one after another to seize the opportunity. Or Krzyzewski, sorry. And thus began the Age of Turbulence and Anarchy. How bad could it possibly be? Two years later. It's a long time. Prince! Mom? Prince, wake up! Oh. just won't wake up. Princess Euphemia, is that you? Well, if that's the case, there's only one thing left to do. What fool dares awaken me, the great Laharl? Rita Repulsa, is that you? Oh, Prince, I'm glad you're still alive. With a gun pointed to your head. Who said I was dead? I was just taking a nap. Your bedroom is on fire, you know. Anyways, why are all those weapons behind you? Well, I was having a hard time waking you up. With a gun? I get people to wake up by shooting them. Are you sure you weren't trying to kill me instead? No! Uh, I mean, yes. I, I just wanted to wake you up. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. So, what is it? You better have a good reason for waking me up. Well, your room's on fire. That would be a pretty good reason. Oh, yeah! Big news! Your father, King Kuchevskoy, has died! <laughs> he what? When? Two years ago. Yeah, that is one thing with Etna's voice actress in this version of the game. She just sounds a little too young. For Wait me. a second. Compared to the PS2 version. Oh well. So you're telling me that I've been sleeping for over two years? Yep. I think that's really the only drawback to the PSP version of the game. I strongly recommend this one. Yup. Why didn't you wake me up earlier? Excuse me, but what do you think I've been doing all this time? Trying to put out the fire? The netherworld has gone to hell while you were sleeping. It's not my fault if some other demon steals the title of Overlord. Isn't that kind of saying, like, hell has gone to hell since you were sleeping? I mean, huh? What? Have they forgotten whose title they're trying to steal? <laughs> Immature brat? How bold of them! I shall show no mercy, for I am Laharl, the rightful heir to the throne! Ha! <laughs> I love his laugh. <laughs> Your humble vassal Etna will accompany you. 
Yay! More party members! So we've got Laharl and Etna. Episode 1, Prince of the Netherworld. And our goal is to, uh, well, I guess, become the Overlord or something. So, oh, they put the fire out. That's nice. Okay, well, let's take a look around our castle here. Uh, first things first, you see the throne here? Go behind here, and there's a switch. Let's try it. Huh. That didn't seem to do anything. But you want to make sure you do that, Paris. Let's see. Level 350? Whoa! How high do you get leveled in this game? 1,000? Nuts. What, they just left this castle lying around? Or... Hmm. One nice thing about this version of the game is it's almost identical to the uh, PlayStation 2 version of the game as far as quality goes. The DS version, well, obviously they had to scale it down. I mean, it's still, the gameplay is all mostly identical, but uh, you're just being paranoid, Laharal. <laughs> uh, I love how uh, Laharl's vassals all heckle him. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, that guy's not there in the PS2 version of the game, I don't think. What's going on? Uh, Longinus? Something? Whatever? He's a talking spear thing. Whatever. Eh, pay no attention to him, viewers. He's not important. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah, yeah, that's probably true. What's going on? Oh, that's not how you spell dude. And that's how they spell dude. I hope this isn't going to become a trend. Um, yeah, I suppose after a couple years. Sounds like a plan. Well, let's take a look around. Let's get to the main area of the castle, or the main hub, where pretty much everything happens. They got uh, shops there, they got a hospital, works like an inn. And uh, right now we only have Laurel and Etna, but you could get monsters in the game if you wanted to. I'm not going to be using any monsters in this LP, but you can if you want. Monsters really aren't that good. Uh, now let's see, we got this skull here. Press that. Okay, now once you've pressed the two switches there, I'm going to go down here. Remember that breeze? Prince, I'm uh, going to the bathroom, okay? And this will open up. Uh, Etna's, I don't know, a secret chamber. Yeah, that works. What? You remember? Oh. You remember that you remember, but you don't remember what you remember. Wh what? Oh. Why so serious, Etna? Huh. Well, anyway, so you check out this diary here. Uh, th this is going to use a chapter-based system in the game, or episode. And for each episode of the game, uh, you want to check out this diary for a new entry. If you do that in every chapter up until the end, then you can get a really good item at the end of the game. So, Okay, so, first things first. Uh, let's see, we want to check out, well, check out some new weapons. So... I'm just gonna skim through this. Uh, yeah, I'll talk about weapon mastery in a moment. Okay, G let me give you my money. Thank you. Okay, so we got weapons here. You buy them and they have stats on them. Press the square button. No. The square button. And uh, you get, you can see the what are called specialists. And uh, what they do is they boost certain stats of the weapon, like Marksman boosts hit. You see where it says three hit, three Marksman? We don't want that, though. Uh, let's see what else they got. Uh, I want to get a common axe, also. Okay, they don't have the uh, specialists I want. But anyway, if, you don't ha if they don't have the weapons you want, just leave the shop, come back in, and they'll have 
more stuff or new stuff. So like Gladiator is another one that boosts uh, the attack stat of the weapon. Uh, there's a couple other ones that are pretty good. One of them is uh, Statistician, which boosts experience gains, and Arms Master, which boosts weapon growth, and that is really good. I strongly recommend buying all your weapons with Arms Masters. So let me see if I can find them. If not, well, then I'll get it off screen. But, uh, ah, there we go, Arms Masters. Ooh, that's really good. Gladiators and Arms Masters. You want to boost your weapon growth so you can learn new abilities and such uh, faster. So we want to buy one of those. And I also want to get a common axe for Etna there. Ah, oh, there we go. I don't have to do any editing or anything. So yeah, just keep on doing that over and over and over again until you get your arms masters. Usually it won't take too long. So let's give the better weapon to Laharl there. So you see it boosts his attack there a bit. And I want to give an axe to Etna. Uh, the reason why I like axes on Etna is because um, storyline characters get innate abilities, unlike generic job classes, and Etna gets some ranged attacks, while uh, axe wielders, uh, they don't get any ranged attacks. So it's a good combination for her, unlike spears. Uh, I will give spears to someone else eventually. So. Okay, uh, well, one thing I want to show you guys, the weapon growth. You see where it says there's all those different weapon types in the middle there? And on the right it says A, B, C, and so on. That determines your weapon growth. So like A would be a high rank of growth, B is slightly less, C is slightly less than that. So basically, you can equip any weapon you want, but you pretty much want to stick to weapons where you have the best growth. So like Laharl could use swords, or axes, or spears, or fists, or bows with really good growth. Etna pretty much has spears and axes. I like using axes for her. That's just my personal preference. There's a whole lot of other stuff going on here that I'm just not going to get into today. I don't want to overwhelm you guys with too much information, but uh, that'll get you started there. So yeah, make sure to buy uh, the sword. Uh, yeah, the sword that I got and the common axe there. We don't have enough money to buy two of the best weapons there. Uh, let's see. Okay, so we got some people over here, but we can't do anything with them. That's a uh, planar, planar, something like that. Uh, you can recruit her in the DS version of the game, but uh, I can't do that myself, so. Hmm? Oh, yeah, yeah, you can save your game and all that jazz, but uh, well, I don't want to do that right now. So, uh, yeah, this is the only place where you can save. You can't save mid-battle, so to speak. So, uh, she's a dimensional gatekeeper. This is how you're going to get from battle to battle. There is no, like, world map or anything like that. So you just talk to her, you select where you want to go. Let's check out the tutorial map and battle basics. If you want to skip the cutscenes, you could just press the triangle button, but, uh, well, I want to go through all this stuff, so let's do that. Now then, time for a little warm-up. I feel a little rusty. Ah, uh, Prince, we've got company. How convenient. I like how in the PS2 version, Etna, her voice actress says, How convenient! I just like her mannerisms better. Stray demons, huh? Those are demons. Allow me, Prince. You may be a little out of practice after your long slumber. Don't worry, I came prepared. Come on, pretty squad! Or is that like a cheerleader squad or something? <laughs> get your butts out here! Now! Oh! Don't get all bent out of shape. So. What do you think of this pretty squad I hired? You hired penguins to help us defeat these guys. They're my loyal servants. They'll do anything I say. Penguins? Are you <laughs> sure about that? See? They're loyal! Yeah, if I shoot them enough. Does it make 
sense to beat up your allies before a battle. Anyways, I think we've made those demons wait long enough already. Now they're just taking a coffee break. them to be so patient. I like how the game breaks the fourth wall a lot. I hope you yeah, do, viewers. that's considerate of them. To show my appreciation, I'll only beat them half to death. Oh, you're so kind. If I were you, I'd beat them all the way to death. Well, yeah. C kind It is kind of the idea in these games. Stop that! That word gives me goosebumps! <laughs> Damn it! I take it back! I'm gonna beat them all the way to death! Mm, he's still a kid. So quick-tempered. I love the facial expressions in this game. It looks like carrying out my plan will be a lot easier than I thought. Hmm? You say something! Oh, nothing! Nothing at all! So, what are your orders, Prince? You do remember how to fight, right? Okay, so now we have tutorial time. Unfortunately, they don't ask you. So... But I think it's amusing, so let's go through it anyway. I kind of like how in Makai Kingdom they give you the option of choosing if you want to go through the tutorial or not. You can say yes or hell no. Not yes or no, hell no. So anyway, the way... I'm going to kind of skim through the dialogue here. But uh, the way you dispatch your... Or deploy... Your units in this game, compared to, say, Final Fantasy Tactics, you don't have to set them in a particular formation in advance. You just have the base panel here, where you click on it and you select whoever you want to deploy, and do whatever they're going to do. So, One nice thing about Final Fantasy, or about this Gaia, compared to Final Fantasy Tactics, is that you have a chance to cancel your action before you actually do it, even though you've already entered it in there. So like you saw uh, the tutorial cancel the movement for that printy there. Uh, you can, if you moved somewhere and you're like, oops, I made a mistake, you can cancel it before it's too late. So yeah, once you've executed stuff, you uh, can't really do a whole lot about it. So, end the turn there, and then the bad guys take their turn. Unlike Final Fantasy Tactics, uh, both sides take their turn all at once. Like, I take my turn, everyone on my team takes their turn, then any everyone on the enemy takes their turn. It's not one character at a time, like Final Fantasy Tactics. Yeah, dumbass. <laughs> I like how they uh, have a little bit of bickering and tutorials. And, uh, hell is the currency of the game, just so you know. Oh, okay, I guess dispatch and deploy work both in the same way in this case. <laughs> oh yeah, there's also team attacks, too. Uh, I'll go over that in just a moment there, but, yeah, I'll talk more about combos and team attacks and all that good stuff. But uh, for now, let's get started on the battle here. One thing you want to do is, if you can, attack your enemies from behind. You'll, it's, it's, you know, more accuracy, damage, all that stuff. If you can't attack them from the, if you can't attack them from behind, then you should attack them from the side or, uh, well, try to avoid doing it from the front. Now here's what I want to do. Select the character to move at. I want to move Etna next to Laharl here. So they're next to each other. Now they can do a team attack because they're next to each other. So well, we got a decent chance. Let's give that a try there. So select it and execute. Okay, I didn't get the team attack. I'll try again. But since Etna didn't do anything, press circle and you can cancel her movement. So she could have executed that team attack, then make her own move during battle. So let's uh, just attack this one guy here. There we go. Now, if I wanted to, I could deploy some of the printings, but I don't plan on using them, so I'm just going to leave them alone for now. And we're done with all of our characters. Let's end the turn. Now all the enemies are going to have their chance to attack us. If you have any questions, let me know, viewers. I know this is kind of a lot to take in all at once. So now 
Let's move Etna over there, so that way she might be able to do a team, team attack with Mahara. Let's try that one again. There we go. Here I come. And there we go. So you do a team attack, deal a little more damage, and the experience gets split between them. So that'll help out a little bit, too. So now, let's finish off this guy. There we go. Easy enough. Right now, we don't have any special abilities. That will change. Until then, we get to use our regular physical attacks. Okay, so we're done with everything there. And now, let's take a look at our uh, status here. You see how we lost a lot of HP there? So what we want to do is go to the hospital here. Talk to uh, this lady here. So it's basically like the inn of the game. Unlike Final Fantasy Tactics, you don't get automatically healed at the end of every battle. You have to go to the inn, or the hospital, in this game. So, and uh, the, the game actually keeps track of how much HP and SP, which is basically the MP of the game, the game keeps track of how much you've recovered at the hospital, and you'll get rewards for uh, use for taking a lot of damage, using a lot of spells, things like that. So let's go up here, press the square button to heal everyone. Boom! We're all set and ready to go. There. So that's everything for the hospital there. But is Laharl ready for the next tutorial battle? Or will we just get tossed around? Find out next time on Let's Play Dinskaya! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!